Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, friends, on today's episode, we're going to finish up our look at Proverbs chapter 8 and the call of wisdom that is recorded in Proverbs chapter 8. Today, we're going to look at verses 22 to 36. Follow along with me in your copy of God's Word as I read Proverbs chapter 8, verses 22 to 36. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of His way, before His works of old. From everlasting I was established, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. When there was no depths I was brought forth, when there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills I was brought forth. While He had not yet made the earth and the fields, nor the dust of the, the first dust of the world, when He had established the heavens I was there. When he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed, when he set for the sea its boundary, so that the water would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundation of the earth, then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in the sons of men. Now therefore, O sons, listen to me, for blessed are they who keep my ways. Heed instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorpost. For he who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me injures himself. All those who hate me love death. Here as we see... Wisdom, again, personified as it has been multiple times in Proverbs and calling out to the naive one to, to choose wisdom and to seek wisdom, we see an important truth that godly wisdom is eternal. That's right, friends. It's often we think in our theology starting with creation, and certainly creation is the beginning of redemptive history of... So no. And certainly creation is the beginning of sort of measured history, but God was at work before creation. Wisdom was with God before creation. He is eternal into eternity past, and so is his wisdom. So is his wisdom. And I love how this chapter, he uses all of the great creative works of the Lord to say that the wisdom was there at all that time. Godly wisdom is eternal. And what this does is this compels us to heed wisdom's call, to again, as we have been called so many times in the book of Proverbs already, and we're not even a third of the way through it, but repeatedly we've been called to search out and to value wisdom. And being reminded that wisdom is eternal, godly wisdom is eternal, compels us to heed wisdom's call and to pursue wisdom, which again we're reminded towards the end of this chapter leads to life and leads to the favor of the Lord. He who finds wisdom finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. What a great blessing and encouragement to be reminded of this. And then we're given the, the converse as a warning. The one who uh, pursues folly, who does not heed wisdom's call, hates his own life and leads to death. Friends, folly leads to death. Wisdom leads to life. We should always treasure true wisdom, godly wisdom, which is eternal. I pray this is encouraging to you today as you think on your own pursuit of wisdom. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.